never want to leave it. Oh, yeah. All right. I see PC Miller is jumping in here. He's got a question. He's like, um, you would like to know how to incorporate modes to fluidly improvise. Now, PC, I can't give you advice on how to do this because I have not heard you perform. So I don't know what level of musicianship you are at currently. Now, for everyone who's wondering what modes are, modes are basically, you, you, you play a major scale, right? Or whatever, what key are we in here? We're playing in the key of uh, freaking F. You basically have a major scale. And if you start on the first note, it's called Ionian. Second note is called Dorian. Third note is called Phrygian. Fourth note, Lydian. Fifth note, Mixolydian. Sixth note, Aeolian. Seventh note, Locrian. Did I do it right? Do I remember this? I think I remembered it. You know, I haven't... Now, if you can judge by me, like, like talking about the scale just then, uh, I do not ever think about modes. So when you're improvising, um, until you hit a certain level or you're playing a certain style of music, certain styles of music which have really rich harmonic backgrounds require you to be quite clever understanding modes. Um, but typically, most music doesn't. And most musicians, like most people playing guitar, they're always focused on how do I get the right scale, get the right mode, how do I incorporate these right notes? but they haven't actually executed on how do I create an emotion. Now, emotion in music is through creating motion. So motion in music creates emotion, which is a really cool thing. Tension, resolution, tension, resolution. So if I'm gonna improvise over this, you know, typically I play in minor pentatonic land all the time because it, it's what I can follow quite clearly and then what I do is I spotlight notes in chords so I'm gonna play there's a two chord one a five a one and then uh, a sharp one diminished seven so two and then I got my one so I got a two So you can see how I just kind of like move through the chords within the pentatonic just then. Now, if we're gonna be super technical, I hit a note in Aeolian, but we don't need to be really fancy with this. You just need to be like, do I create tension? Do I create resolution? Dynamics, quiet. Speed, slow. You know, slide, don't slide. Sharp notes, like, like staccato notes. And then, then like legato, stuff like that. So that's what you need to be focusing on. And you want to think rhythms more than scales. Like scales are just like, you know, those are, that's such an alphabet, you know? You don't want to be like, if you're basically, if you're communicating with someone, you're never going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or like, you know, H, O, R, H, O, I mean, I can't even spell. Look, H, O, W, A, R, E, Y, O, U, question mark? You're not going to do that. You're going to be like, how are you? You know? <laughs> and so, and then like if you, real slang is like, sup, you know? So each stage, you know, someone who is playing just scales, who is like, all right, I'm in this key. I'm going to play this scale and I'm going to play from this note and we're going to go. someone who plays scales you know and even someone who would be like way better would be doing like cool like doing all that cool stuff I don't do that stuff but the trick to being like how are you is being like oh I'm gonna focus on some cool rhythms and so for instance when I go to improvise over this I'm hearing uh, boom boom See how I'm focusing on the rhythm? So 
So where I'm getting feel is coming from my attention to rhythm. And if you get really, really stuck on being like, how do I come up with cool rhythms over what I'm improvising? Steal everything. And when I say steal everything, don't steal ideas from guitar solos, steal ideas from vocalists. So what's it? What's an example of me doing that right now? Would be like, um, so over this. So Sunday morning, this is the actual Sunday morning. Da, 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 da. So you see how many times I added that little rhythm? But that and that now. And then and then say the chorus is like that maybe you da da da. So I got that. Is PC is this making sense what I'm doing here? So this is how you're going to create tension and resolution. You want to take rhythms, steal rhythms, and then apply your scale knowledge to the rhythms. And it really doesn't matter where you place them, then you are absolutely on fire. You will be pulling off guitar licks and, and ideas and, and melodies. That's the shit that makes people really love what you do. And it took me a really, 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 really long time to get this. It took me so long. And then what you're going to do is if you have that bass knowledge over your solos, then you build up this cool voice because you're starting to be creative. You're starting to think with this, not with your hands. You're not, you're not thinking like, oh, I'm limited by my scales. You're thinking, what can I be creative with? What, can I, what, are, what am I hearing? And you're gonna to start to learn to hear more. And then once you have that, you have that completely done absolutely you've got you've got that flow going you're really confident that you learn to think that way because a lot of a lot of the times for me i'm like oh i say this i preach this but then sometimes i'm like i'm doing like dumb shit like that you know and um which is not very much connecting to the music at all so it's really hard to monitor it's really hard to be like I'm gonna take the feel, I'm gonna take the feel, I'm gonna get the feel, get the feel. But then you always just jump back in, you're like, ah, cool lick. Or whatever you do. You know, you have a you have your little, you'll know it, every guitarist has it. You have your, your exactly. Josh, it sounds cool. It sounds cool to us, but you're alienating listeners, because listeners, like, they're used to hearing great melodies. When you hear a song, you hear great melodies. So if you start to approach things not thinking about great melodies and not thinking about great vocal rhythms and things like that to apply to your guitar playing, you're basically going to start losing attention. And then the only people that really, really like Steve Vai are guitarists that play the shit out of guitar. You know? The world doesn't know who Steve Vai is. I mean, quite a few people do because he's obviously, you know, one of the GOAT guitarists. But like, you know, you're not going to connect with that. I could say, I could tell people, oh, have you heard of Guthrie Govan? And they're like, who the fuck is Guthrie Govan? You know, Melly knows Steve Vai, but do you guys know who Guthrie Govan is? How many people in the chat know Guthrie Govan? Anyone in the chat here know who Guthrie Govan is that I'm talking? Learn fives. Oh, maybe this is not the right kind of crew because Melly knows it and the ice, ice knows it. Patty knows it. Oh my God. Okay, well, you guys are musicians. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm trying to say like people who don't know music. They they don't know who Guthrie Govan is. Josh doesn't. Yes, I got one that doesn't. Miss Mary Cat doesn't know who it is. There we go. Boom. There we go. So like Guthrie Govan is like one of the best guitarists in the world. He's an absolute savage. Um, but you won't really know him. And um, because you know like no one wants to listen to that kind of stuff. So. Long story short, we'll cut it up now. Um, you basically want to just approach everything really. Yeah, you hear those melodies in your head. But PC, this is the trick. This is the thing that um, that I that held me back. Is a lot of people get really, really laser focused on the melody itself. 
don't think about the melody. You don't need to nail the melody. So say like, that may be all I need. Oh, actually, I, I, I got it. But, uh, <laughs> yes, I did it. But you don't need to get the melody. You just need to get the vocal rhythm. So the melody's rhythm. So da, da, da. Then maybe da, da, da. get the groove of the song and then you get the vocal rhythm like the vocal rhythm you immediately hit so many amazing like connections to the actual song that you're playing that immediately you're not kind of you're not stepping away from where the song is because the guitarist when they're like yo rip a solo the guitarist is like all right here we go and they just fucking zoom off and they just like disappear into fucking la la land doing crazy cool licks that they heard hendrix play and then you know, we're just not connected to the music anymore. And so the listener who's used to hearing a melody is so clean, because these melodies, they are hit songs for reasons. They are very, very, very good melodies. And then what you need to do is respect that and try and connect to those melodies and then add your influence on the guitar. But if you can do that, once you have those principles nailed, then in the future, then that's when you sit down and you be like, okay, well, I want to get better at my scales. And then you learn how to apply your more scale knowledge there, more arpeggio knowledge there, more chord knowledge there. Like you learn to be like, oh, how can I connect better to the chord here? How can I be a bit clever with my scale run here? What note could I experiment with here? That's when you start doing that stuff. But a lot of people just skip to that stuff because it's way easier to quantify your practice by being like, well, I just practiced my arpeggios for 30 minutes. I practiced my scale for 30 minutes and I did all this. And then they go to play a solo and they sound like shit. And they're like, well, why do I sound like crap? It's like, I practice for like two hours a day. And it's like, well, yeah, cause you haven't practiced how to get good. And how to get good is learning how to listen to music, how to hear music and do all those things. So hopefully that explains that. So that's our lesson for the day. Um, I'm gonna turn off my stream now. No, I'm kidding. Um, speaking of guitar solo, we'll just do a little um, chorus and then I'll do a guitar solo and then we'll peace out to another song. You guys keen? Or you guys are over this loop now. Maybe all I need In darkness she is all I see Come and rest your bones with me We're driving slow on Sunday morning, yeah Cause I never want to leave Oh yeah What are we playing next, y'all? But I'll clip that for you, dude. I'll, PC, if you follow, make sure you follow me on YouTube or like subscribe. I don't know what it is. It's follow. I don't know. Whatever it is on YouTube. Jump on. It's subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube. It's the same as following on TikTok. And um, I'll post this on YouTube for you. You, you. you sub on YouTube? Yes. Hey, we hit 1.1K subs on YouTube today. Crazy, right? What? What? 1.1. It's crazy. Bee Gees. I don't know any Bee Gees, Josh. 